let's let's let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Fountain pens suck. All right, and I'm tired of pretending like they don't. Okay, listen to me. Listen, I feel like I feel like all of us in the community really look at it, you know, look at the hobby with like these rose colored glasses. You know, we really love it. But then on the other hand, we have like this survivorship bias perspective. We don't remember all the things we went through to get to where we are today in this hobby. Okay, there's a lot of shitty moments in owning a fountain pen. There's a lot of things that they don't tell us. And I'm going to tell you why fountain pens suck. What's going on guys? My name is Brian, also known as that journaling guy, and today I'm going to give you a reason to all the beginners and maybe all of the experts in the community a few reasons why owning a fountain pen sucks. Okay, and I'm gonna be upfront about it. I love fountain pens. I've been a part of this hobby for now three years. I love the community. I love everything that has to do with fountain pens. But I feel like there's a big part of this that people aren't talking about, that we just aren't showing people, all right? We, we're all like, grab a fountain pen and you'll see how much you love it, but you don't really talk about anything. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm gonna give you the reasons right here, right now. Let's start with number one. Number one. <clears throat> Fountain pens are messy, okay? They're super, they're super messy. Everything about them, the ink makes it messy. In every shape, fame, or war, that's not, I don't know what I'm saying. In every shape, form, or way. You know what I'm saying, okay? My biggest pet peeve, inky fingers. I can't stand <laughs> inky fingers. But I don't want to be the guy that wears the rubber gloves for my fountain pens. I want to go all natural. Okay, but listen, there's a lot of pens that have different filling mechanisms. Some of them you have to use syringes, others have piston fillers, some you have to use the, the converter itself. You know, there's you gotta sometimes you gotta take the bottle and go like this. You know, there's a lot, and it's always messy. It takes a lot of time and a lot of practice to get to a point where you're not messy with it. Okay, because even even taking off the cap to a bottle around the lip, around the lid, around the hole of the bottle there'll be ink and you'll be like Doo, and you'll be like shit and it stains everything it'll stain you and your grandma's life okay the stains will stay there for generations it's messy don't even get me started on the fact that if you're left-handed fountain pens might just not be for you you know you might have a horrible horrible time because ink smudges did you, you know that there's there's drying periods for different inks, right? Like some inks will dry faster than others. There will be papers that promote the drying process. I have greasy fingers. I have said this plenty of times on my channel. I have notoriously sweaty hands. All right, you know what that means for my ink and my paper? I smudge it. I'm, I'm a smucker's smudger. All right, it's annoying. It's messy. And I want you to know that. Okay, number two. Fountain pens and everything about this hobby is relatively expensive or it can get very expensive But even the startup cost gets kind of expensive like ask anybody that got into the hobby Sure, they'll start with a little pilot kakuno and then you start getting deeper and it only gets more expensive the deeper you get high quality fountain pens really start out at around $20 and then go into the tens of thousands of dollars. I'm talking 16 grand 18 grand for these masterpieces but you know we don't take into consideration things like the ink all right the ink cartridges different um converters that you'll need to buy for some pens because some companies are stingy they don't send you a converter okay the syringes to fill up the ink a way to store your pens a way to carry your pens this is all costs that you need to take into consideration i'm sorry you know you're not just gonna get a pen you're not as much as you think you are, you're not. Because then you need to protect it. Then you need to keep it safe. Then you need to think of ways to clean it. And, and you know, you'll need maybe some rubbing alcohol to get the ink out of your fingers. It gets deep. You've seen my fountain pen collection. If you haven't, it's right here. I'm going to put it up. I'll, I'll connect it right here. In the three years that I've done this, 
I've spent a couple grand and I'm going to do another video in 2024 where it's only gone up since the last video I've made. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It's only going to get crazier. So I'll be ready for that. It's expensive. All right. I'm passionate about this. I don't know what you want me to say. Number three. Okay. Number three. Numero tres. Fountain pens are fucking fragile. They're fragile. They're fragile. Just, they're fucking fragile all right they're they're prone to damage things having like l look look this you see this yeah that's a 200 dollars pilot vanishing point that i dropped not even two feet off the ground you know what? let's go do an experiment come on i'm gonna take you to where i dropped it exactly all right you saw that you saw how high that was right i'm, I'm okay i'm going to drop a regular degular pen that's not a fountain pen from that height do you think anything happened to this pen hmm do you think anything happened nothing happened to this pen but for my fountain pen that was catastrophic like like Mach 9 Defcon 12 I don't know what those I don't know what those mean but it was catastrophic my heart sank to my butthole okay it was a gift that was a gift for my girlfriend for 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 like just a gift and 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 I broke it devastating that ruined the rest of my day I think I actually canceled plans or whatever I was doing because my fountain pen broke but yeah Trust me, you can't carry fountain pens all willy-nilly, okay? As much as people say, you know, oh, I have a workhorse pen that I carry in my pocket. You need a pocket protector or you need a way to protect it, okay? Because you're going to crack the body. The nibs are going to be bent. The, the fragility issue with fountain pens goes as far as you getting messed up pens from the manufacturers. There's a lot of companies that don't pay attention to quality control. So imagine spending a few hundred dollars on a grail pen that you've wanted for a very long time. You go to write with it and the ink flow sucks. Maybe it's because the tines are too close together or you notice cracks or things that are loose. That's, that's my personal horror story with Visconti. Okay, I'm sorry. Visconti, if you're listening to this, you guys fucking suck at quality control. I want you guys to know that. Even though your Homo Sapiens Bronze Age is still one of my grail pens. Don't even get me started. Anyway, they're fragile, all right? You need to take care of your fountain pens. You need to find a good place to store them. You need to find a good way to transport them without getting crazy. There's a lot of little things that you need to worry about, like accidental falls and, and things like that. Take necessary precautions, okay? Number four, and I think this one is the one that people don't talk about enough, is the massive learning curve that there is with fountain pens. There's a huge learning curve to getting to this hobby, okay? Not only do you need to learn how to write with it physically, okay, because you need to learn the amount of pressure that every fountain pen takes, like you eventually learn, you can't press down too hard, you can't smash it into the paper. So learning to physically write, you know, with the nib down and, and the strokes and how to get good ink flow. But then there's the tertiary stuff, like the ink brands, the pen brands, all right, what kind of body types you like, the drying times of certain inks, how some pen, pen manu like the pen manufacturer that you pick dictates how thin a fine is. You know, um, the how to go to a fountain pen show, what to expect. I've made videos like this. Getting into fountain pens is work. It takes effort. And that's one of my tips for when people go to fountain pen shows is like put in the time to research um, as much about fountain pens as you can. What you like, new companies, different kinds of inks. Look at your favorite creators. What are they talking about? What kind of pen reviews do they do? There's a deep, deep learning curve to fountain pens and i don't want to pretend that there's not all right which kind of makes it suck i mean it's like a big like growth point it could be a really big like personal improvement kind of thing learning about this hobby but man not to mention you need to learn about like the maintenance of your fountain pens how they're stored how to clean them correctly um oh, oh. Don't even get me started, man. It's fucking crazy. Anyway, 
it's got it's 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 a lot on the learning curve okay and the last reason why fountain pens suck okay and sometimes defeat the purpose of a pen in general is its limited use case okay there's definitely a limited use case in the sense that they're just not suitable for every writing situation and why do i say that it's because they tend to be less reliable for things like quick notes okay some of the some of the pens you need to warm them up a little bit you know you need to write with them a little you need to be like mm -hmm, come on baby get that ink going you know what i'm saying like there's nothing more frustrating than you having to take a quick note and it's not there's no ink coming out and then you realize that you had left it for too long and your ink dried out and then it starts skipping or it doesn't have ink and you have to refill it it's like come on man i need to write down my phone number for this really cute girl i'm trying to show off my fountain pen it's not working you look dumb okay you look dumb limited use case in the sense that you're not going to take it everywhere there's some places i'm not going to take my 250 dollar pen because if i drop it i am going to cry i don't want to cry I don't want to do that to me and my significant others. It would be like a death in the family if I broke another fountain pen. <sighs> it's just not convenient a lot of the time. And that goes back to the learning curve. You need to know what paper to use. It's not going to work with every paper. You don't want like a printer paper. You're not going to write on that. Okay? You're not going to do that to yourself. Ah, don't even get me started. This video is just throwing me off the edge. Anyway, <laughs> in conclusion... All right, in conclusion, fountain pens are versatile writing instruments, okay? They're very unique in their qualities and they bring joy that is undeniable, okay? They're a lot of fun to use. It, it really is just the pleasure of writing behind it that makes it enjoyable. It's elegant. Um, it's just a form of expression that you can't really explain unless you get this deep into it okay once you experience a fountain pen though and you learn about its beauties and the smooth writing experience there's no going back all right so i'd love to hear from you guys let me know down in the comments why fountain pens suck be honest about this hobby let newbies find this video okay and be like all right let me see what i'm getting into let's give them just the cons and maybe I'll do some pros too, but we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.